Good morning everyone and welcome to my 100 subscribers Q&A special. As I mentioned yesterday to celebrate this enormous milestone for the channel I will be answering some of you guys questions. After I ask to either leave them in the comments of yesterday's video or the discord server. Which you should join, by the way, link in the description. I want to thank everyone who asked a question as it helps me out. Now I have quite a couple here to answer. So what are we waiting for? Let's go. So to start off with we have a question from Mintman reading, what editing software do you have? Well, I don't have a computer because it recently broke and I don't want to buy another more expensive editing software. So at the moment I simply use InShot on my iPad device. If my channel does get to a decent size, maybe 1,000 to 5,000 subscribers, I will look into getting a better editing program. But honestly, at the moment InShot does the job and I'm happy to be using it. For the second question, we have another one from Mintman Reading, what's your favorite entity? Well, actually my favorite entity and others I assume is the party goer. I love it because it's just so silly, simple and fun. It adds a challenge is not just sharp teeth and a fanged monster, but a monster who has intelligence and a personality. If I had to rate the party goer I would easily out it as a 10 out of 10, as it is just such a great idea that fits the theme of the back rooms. But anyways on to the next question asked by an active member of my discord server reading. If you found yourself in the back rooms what faction or group would you join if any? Well, firstly this is a great question which I would be happy to answer. But first, to answer this we need to ask what do you think being stuck in the back rooms would be like? Is it just about survival? Is it about helping others? Or is it about exploring this new and exciting universe? Well in my opinion it's all of these. If I were stuck in the back rooms, I would want to explore the different levels, meet new people and not just survive but flourish. So there's only one group which would suit these desires the MEG, or better known as the Major Exploration Group. It would be so exciting to just be able to work together as a group to explore, document and figure out the mysteries of one hundreds of levels. Next we have a question about the Penguin, Animations. Reading question for Q&A, when and how did you find out about the back rooms? And what made you decide to make content on it? Well to answer the first part of your question I actually found out about the back rooms in November of last year just before my school camp, and I discovered it from a great YouTuber called Mr. Backrooms. Whose channel will of course be linked down below in the description. I watched all of his old videos on the backrooms and this really is where my love for the idea began. I was just so fascinated with the idea of having all of these worlds which unique characters and places to explore and I knew I had to make content on it. I had to share these wonderful and amazing stories with people from all over the world and my small community has helped me achieve that which I am super grateful. But now on to the others questions, I don't want to be here for hours. So we have a question by Little Guitarist who wrote. What's the scariest entity? Well at least in my opinion the scariest entity would have to be the wretches. Because knowing how damaging this condition is and that it can happen to basically anyone. And that if it does unfortunately happen to you or a loved one. You're gone, your emotions, personality, thoughts and feelings are destroyed. And God shave you if you become one. But on a moon positive note. On to the next question by bottle or almond water in the back rooms. And firstly before we begin note this person did ask a couple questions and I would like to thank them. But the question is favorite level and why is level 1000? Well I don't know what the second part of the question is referring to. But I do not really have a favorite level, I like lots of different levels as their ideas and cool and unique. But I will list a couple of my favorite levels. Level 0 because of the creepiness and horror of being trapped in a near infinite maze of rooms and lights. Then I would have to say level 78 also know as the space station. This is honestly just because I love space so much and I think personally it would be somewhat cool and exciting to be in space and explore it. But ultimately I would have to say level 6.1 would be my favorite, just imagine being trapped in the back rooms but having unlimited food. 
you would be able to eat and just chill with your homies which would be amazing in my opinion. So, yay they're my favorite levels. And for the next question I'm not gonna go over it because well I already have in the previous statements. But we actually do have a very interesting question here. First or second cluster? Well I do like both honestly. I think the wiki is more professional so less levels are published due to that, but some of those levels are written insanely well and all credit goes to the authors. But with cluster 2 and I'll expand on that by including other clusters on the fandom. We get to see more silly and strange levels which wouldn't be allowed on the main wiki. So I would still probably have to say in the end cluster 1 but I do enjoy cluster 2 very much as well. Now for a question from my discord. From Zuiji, what are your opinions on the beings from above? Well I do think they are quite an interesting and exciting entity. They don't just kill a wanderer but make the explorers and readers wonder and ponder on what they are. We do not know much information about them and this is where I think really lets the entity shine. Well not in the literal sense but you know what I mean. But regardless it lets it have a mysterious and creepy feel to the entity which really suits not just the level but the entire backroom's idea. And lastly we have a couple questions from my good friend hanging with my homies, and I'm not gonna read all these but instead I'll just put them on the screen. But enough doodling around let's get into these great questions. Firstly what who inspired you to make Backrooms content? Well Mr. Backrooms which in my opinion is one of the greatest Backrooms YouTubers currently going. I wanted to be like him because I enjoyed reading and listening to all the different levels, entities, objects and much more. Number 2 How did you find the community? Well if you mean by the YouTube and Discord community I suppose I just did some research, I look at Reddit and read even more about the backrooms and I came across some servers which I currently am in. In terms of YouTube content I just as everyone does search about the topic, then the main channels came up and some smaller ones. And ever since then I have just been exploring new smaller YouTubers who do content on the backrooms and for the third question which reads, how does it feel to be growing so fast? Well I can say it feels pretty exciting, as I have had two other separate YouTube channels in the past and I never had the growth I am currently having. It feels great I can continue to make content which people enjoy as well as being able to do it in a senior level of school. It's exciting and I am looking forward to the future and what it will not just bring for my channel but the entire Backrooms community. For the fourth question they have asked, when is voice reveal? Well at the moment I don't generally have any plans to do a voice reveal as I quite enjoy not speaking in my videos. And if I did do a voice reveal it would be all planned and not just a surprise, but who knows maybe when I hit 1k I may do one. And for the final question of the video, any plans for the future? Well I can assure you I have plenty of ideas and plans I want to put into action as soon as I can. One of these being a completely new and cool looking introduction. As you can probably all tell my introduction well uh isn't really the best but I am playing to fix that. I may also be creating a more cartoonish but still creepy looking YouTube logo and updated banner art. But for now all I can say is more will be arriving very soon. But that's it everyone the 100 subscriber Q&A which went very well in my opinion. Thank you all for leaving your questions and making this milestone possible in the first place. I seriously couldn't have done it without you, please have a good day or evening depending on where you are, and stay safe wanderers goodbye.